Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgarner 307. We are here for the Snowgarner 307 budget and of course some savings challenges. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a Here we are. I have got my cash. We're not going to count it, don't worry you guys. This is all the cash that I already got from the bank. So let's just go ahead and move it on out. And I got a whole bunch of dollar bills this time just because I find with the randomizers and stuff that I'm using, more dollar bills makes it so much easier. So I did get $100 worth of dollar bills. We're still gonna have to go through and look for our a bucks, our D bucks, and our G bucks. So we still have to do that. So hopefully I remember to do that. Normally I like to do it before I get on camera, but I forgot. So it looks like we're not going to do it. Now for my budget, you guys, if you are brand new to my channel, my husband and I have had some setbacks recently and things have changed a lot. So if you haven't watched my videos for a couple months, then some of this might surprise you. I just remembered I need to grab some placeholders too. So let me go ahead and grab those out. So I need $600 in placeholders. So I've got 600 there. And we're gonna put this towards the back so that when we need to stuff that, we can go ahead and stuff it. Let's talk about what Snow Gardener 307 did this last month. Now, I do have to tell you guys that this Etsy total is only for half a month because we took a payout mid-month or so um, so that we could pay my husband's bills. So YouTube last month, um, I made 955.70. And so that technically I think was actually December. I'm trying to remember. I think that may have been December. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was December pay. Etsy, half month of January, the second half, was $2,590.18. And I made $10 with my Amazon links. And that's the first time I've ever made any money from Amazon. You have to rack it up to $10. So it probably took me like a year to get that or whatever. But hey, every dollar counts, right? And so I always like to round up. I just leave the change sitting. So today we are working with $3,555. This budget is very, very simple, you guys. It's very cut and dry. So Amazon, um, I went ahead and paid the total that I had at the moment that I went ahead and made this budget. I owed 317.49. I went ahead and rounded it up to make numbers easy. So I went ahead and did a roundup of $2.51. It's going to be going to debt. I can say for Amazon, I think I owe about another $300 right now because I did some serious restocking. And then for my sister-in-law, she gets a commission for every single thing that has any of her artwork on it. So whether it is a printable, whether it is a physical challenge, whether it is Georgette, Fred Jr., any of her stuff, her new brand new art challenges, her real art challenges, as I like to call them, are just so beautiful. And I'm so blessed that she has shared them with me, but she gets a commission for everything. So $218.50. Rounded that up to $220, so $1.50 to debt. CD ladder, $100 that I added to the February CD ladder. And my hubby, for his bills, I gave him $1,500. He needs a little bit more, but there will be another paycheck before everything's due. So we took $1,500. So that means that we have a total in bill amount of $2,140. That leaves us $1,415. Then we roll on over into our sinking funds. The first fund that I always do is taxes, and that's $650. Now, some people look at this amount over here, and then they look at this amount, and they're like, Marlene, that's not $30 percent. The way that I do my taxes is I keep track all month long of the income that comes in and all of the expenses that go out. Then I take the difference and I take 30 percent of that because that is technically how running a business works. Some people just like to take 30 percent of this. Uh, that's perfect. You're going to have more than enough, but that's what I choose to do. Monthly expenses, $60. We're going to pop into our um, sinking fund. Shipping, $50 and supplies, $50 pay it forward $50. And this $50 right here for pay it forward is going to Janelle Ray Budgets all year long. I believe she already knows this, but I'm getting her monthly binders every single month. And I plan on using them for a couple years. So it's going to be a great investment. And then savings is going to get $20 just because it's going to get $20. Subscriptions is $20. This is for Canva and Adobe to run my business. So we're not talking personal subscriptions. YouTube subscri subscriptions, I can't say that word, $75. This is to pay for the subscriptions that I have. Unfortunately, I'm pretty much capped out right now. There's other people that have them that I would like, but I'm kind of capped out. Savings challenges is gonna go ahead and get $350. Um, that leaves us $70. I'm gonna leave that in my account for rollover. 
And you guys, I've just done a couple big projects um, that have taken quite a bit of money out of my supplies. So the next budget that I have, I'm going to be putting a large amount back into supplies because I have a big project coming up that's going to take quite a bit of money. And then our roundup to debt is going to be an extra $4.01. And then, of course, I've got my cash breakdown over here. Um, easy peasy. You guys know how it works. Um, you just take all of your categories, break them down into the bills you want. I'm going to go ahead and set this off to the side. I've got my highlighter. Man, when I don't highlight, you guys, I didn't highlight one of my last videos and I forgot to stuff, I think, two things because of that. So I've got a stack of pins over here. Let me move them. Let's go ahead and get started. So we need the Snow Gardener 307 binder. I should probably grab that, right? I wasn't prepared. I didn't have that out. I had the Savings Challenge binders out, but not the Snow Gardener 307. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and do the taxes. And we're going to go ahead and add $650. So $600 in placeholders and a 50. Now, if I think... I was going to say, if I think correctly, we probably need to be putting another, yep, we're going to need another placeholder in here as well. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. Now, you guys, I have not done taxes yet for this year. I am waiting on my husband's business taxes, and I can't do anything with my stuff until that is all done, because that's just how it works. So some of this money, most of this money, obviously, is for last year. So that is still in there. And then monthly expenses is going to go ahead and get $60. So 20, 40, and 60. And you are going to see that I think pretty much everything is empty. This last month was um, gather everything and pull it out and spend it on other things. Now supplies, I do have some money in the bank. Um, I've got $1,300 in the bank for supplies, but I'm going to be needing a lot more. So I'm going to focus on that next month. So I put $50 here. Shipping. Um, I like to keep this money in shipping for pirate ship. I keep this a little bit here just in case I go to the post office and I need to um, ship something small. But pirate ship, I'm going to go ahead and eventually add this $50 into pirate ship. That's what I use when I'm shipping stuff that I don't sell through Etsy. And then pay it forward, like I said, is going to go ahead and get this $50, which will be going to Janelle for the March binder. Savings, we're going to go ahead and put $20 in. And let's see, what do we have in here? Uh, we're doing pretty good in here. I think I am going to be moving this into an emergency fund for Snow Gardener 307 instead of just a personal emergency fund. And so that's if something happens in the business. Um, you know, I would like to have at least $1,000 saved. So I need to get that into the bank. Just because is exactly what it says. I can use it on anything I please. YouTube subscriptions, we're going to go ahead and do $75. So 50, 70, and 5. And then the last thing is savings challenge money. I'm not going to put all of the savings challenge money in here because we are going to go ahead and stuff some savings challenges today right now, but I'm obviously not going to stuff all of this at once. So we are going to go ahead and do $220. So I did not decide how I was going to break this down, but I figure we need at least, I'm going to do 40 ones. Oh, no, before we do that, we need to go through these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's my 40. Now I'm going to go through the rest of this and see if I have any A bucks, G bucks, or D bucks. Okay. So the rest of these ones will go back into the savings challenge binder. So we've got $40 here. So now I'm having to think I said 220 and I didn't have this figured out ahead of time. Normally I do. So 220. So we need 180. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. That's what we're going to do. Makes it easy. If I need to make some more change, I've got some more over here. So let me double check really quick. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, plus um, $40 there. And we're not recounting that because I don't want to. 
And then let's see what we ended up with with our bucks, shall we? Because I didn't look at that before I pulled it or when I pulled it out of the bank. So let's divide them and see what we've got. I was excited to see some A bucks, you guys. A bucks are hard to come by in our area. So we ended up with three A bucks, four D bucks, and one, two, three, four, five, five G bucks. And if you can hear the dogs barking, I'm sorry. They're just chatty. And the neighbor dog keeps them barking. So we're going to go ahead and start out with Christmas. So I am going to do $20 for future Christmas. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two snaps to Brittany. So we're going to do $20 to future Christmas. So we're going to go ahead and start out with that. And I'm just going to pull that out because I don't want to dive into other money. So future Christmas, um, this is for exactly what it sounds like, future Christmas. It is not for Christmas this year. It is for um, an adventure, an experience that I would like to um, give my children in a couple years. It's going to take me quite a while to save up. So right off the bat, we have an IOU of $3. So one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and put that in here. And then I had the paper clip on this one right here because I believe this is actually, I think this is where we need to start. Whether it is or not, it doesn't matter. Let me grab my scratch off token. So we are going to go ahead and put $5 in here. I don't know how far we're going to make it. We're just going to keep saving. And this is from my friend Danny over at Craft Co. Budgets. And I am going to um, once I do this, I'm going to clean it up and uh, put the scratch offs on again, because this is going to be continued to use for the future Christmas. And I don't do any dice or anything for this one. I am just saving money. Five, six, seven, and eight. And this money is going to go quick because we're almost done. And oh, I hope we don't end up with an IOU. Okay, what do we have? We have $4. So, oh, we've already got a four and a one. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. We've already got a four and a one. Let's see. Eight. Oh, dang it. So we have an IOU again. And I keep forgetting to use my vacuum. Don't mind me, you guys. So we need an IOU of eight. And I really have just been using sticky notes, you guys, because oh, I just, I don't know. It's too hard to clean off the ones I have. I actually have a brand new design that's going to be coming out very soon. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's in the works, but it's not done yet. So I owe you $4.00. And I hate IOUs, but at the same time, what does it matter? You know why I hate IOUs is because I want to be able to stuff all of that money that I put for it today, not next time, but today. So let's see. Well, that's going to be easy because this is where we're going to start next time. We're going to start on Hedgehog. And with this little Christmas cuties, I've just kept doing that. Now I have an IOU on there of $3. Why do I have an IOU on that one too? Did I put that $3 in, you guys? Am I losing my mind? We better do this really quick. I want everything to be right. And I guess I could change a little bit of this for a bigger bill. It would probably be smart, right? Since we're counting it. Because we definitely could use a bigger bill in here. And that would make it way skinnier. So let's take a look. So we have got... So we should have 13 plus 21 plus seven is 28, 10, 15, 21, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. I just forgot to take that off. And I know you guys already knew that, but I did not. <laughs> I didn't know that. So let's go ahead and grab out. Let's grab one of these twenties out of here. So 20 and let's do one, two, three, four, five. So five, 10 and 20. There we go. So $28. And then that one's a okay. And then look at how much thinner that is. That's much better. Okay, you guys. So that is our future Christmas. And this is just going to get a little bit of money every now and then I don't have a set amount or when I do it or anything. And then I want to go ahead and do $50 into my Christmas. And so $50 into Christmas. So let's do 21, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So we've got twenty plus twenty is forty plus a ten. And I don't even know if you guys can see where this money is. 
I guess it is what it is, right? <laughs> It is what it is at this point. So we have an IOU in here. I see it. Oh, those IOUs, dang it. I see it. I see it. So let's take care of that. This one, we do use a randomizer. So we get to use dice and we use a 12-sided die. And I've got these amazing new dice. I'm so excited. Hopefully this, these dice will show up good for you guys. And these are from Kayla. Kayla gave me some dice and I was super, super excited. So we've got our randomizer, but let's go through. Let's find our IOU and see what we owe. We owe $7. Let me go ahead and highlight that. I could have swore I had a highlighter over here. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be a highlighter. Seven buckaroos. Ouch. That takes quite a bit of our money already. See, five, six, and seven. Perfect. And that's going into the Ren challenge. So for my Christmas budget, the way it works is all the money goes towards everything. I don't have, you know, one of these envelopes going to gifts, one of them going to decor, one of them going to food. I don't do that. I just put all the Christmas money together. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's put this money towards Christmas. So we've got nine. So we need to go all the way back here to nine. And we have got Elvira or it's Vida is what it is. And this is Miranda's budgets. And so let's go ahead and scratch one of these and see what we're going to be putting in. So we have $3 today going in. So one, two, and three. So another three bucks going in and we have got a nine. So let's go on back. Actually, we're on nine already. Why, why can't I remember that you guys? I just rolled a nine. Let's go ahead and scratch another one. We're gonna do this one down here. We've got $4. We're gonna take this five and put it there. All right, something besides nine. We wanna spread it around. So uh, how about a six? At first I thought it was a nine and I was like, no! And this is Jessica. And so this is GP's odds and ends. So let's scratch one. Nine dollars, Jessica. Oh my goodness. So mean. So mean. <laughs> nine dollars. So let's grab a 10. I'm pretty sure we probably have a one in here. We do. So a nine buckaroos. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm grabbing the wrong money. <sighs> Put the 10 back. Grab the one. Grab the 10. Put the one there. Did I do it for the last one too? Probably. We're just going to leave it extra money to Christmas. Okay. I need to move that money so I don't grab it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So we have got a four. So let's go on back to Rin and Rin. This is the one that we just had that dang IOU for. Dang it anyway. <laughs> so we've had a nine and an eight so far, and this is a $50 challenge. So I think that that's probably a good sign. So let's see what we've got. We've got a two. Heck yeah. And we've got these cute little penguins. And this is Merry Flock and Christmas. I love this challenge. I love Ren's shop. It's absolutely amazing. All right. So now we have got a 12. So we've got Miss Ren again. All the way to the back. These cute little gingerbread. And so this one right here is seven. And it's all done. How cute is that? Thing I love about this is that you can reuse these. So $7, so five, six, and seven. I'm just gonna put this in my top drawer. That is where all of my use challenges go. And let's see what else we got. We got a seven. And a seven is our friend Liz. So where are you, Liz? There you are. So let's see what we've got here. So we have got our for sure, our for sure. And let's see, I feel like we should do, I like doing the bigger ones first. So let's go ahead and do this $8 one since he's all lonely up here. So eight buckaroos and we're gonna put him here. I don't know what I'm doing on her challenge. I'm just making it work, right? Five, six, seven, and eight. I can't believe I was grabbing out of the wrong pile after I took money out. Well, I can because I'm kind of a hot mess today, you guys. Well, what am I not a hot mess, right? A 10 and a 10 is champagne. So let's go check out champagne. And what do we got? We got a $75 challenge and she can be mean. Sometimes there was a 12. So I'm super scared because I think there needs to be another big one because we have a two, four, six, and a 12. So I think this one's going to be over 10 bucks. 
<gasps> oh my goodness. Boy, I was right. Over 10 bucks is for sure. That's an $18 scratcher. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think that's it, guys. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have our IOU of $4. $4, I say. $4. Woo! Man, that one was a tough one. And I like to put that like this because if I don't, I'll forget that it's in the envelope. I have to be able to see it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together without you guys. Um, I'll probably do it at the very end of the video if you like to watch things being put back together. So Christmas. Christmas is done for now. And now, you guys, we get to stuff some other savings challenges. So, yeah, see, I don't have any fives left in there. Who designed that? I know I've got fives, so that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and grab some fives. Five, 10, 15, and 20. All right, first, before I forget, let's go ahead and do all of these bucks right here. And these ones are in the red binder, which Marlene covered up with a piece of paper and couldn't see. All right, let's do these ones first. Now, I just remembered I have not done a new D is for debt, but let's see. So we've got A is for Australia. And yes, these are still going to Australia. That is still a goal. Um, it has just been changed. You know, goals are always evolving, always evolving. So we're going to go ahead and put three more bucks towards Australia. And yeah, if you've missed some of our videos lately, Australia is officially off. There is no way in this this, there's no way I wanted to say something bad with bad words, but I can't. <laughs> this is a family channel, Marlene. This is a family channel, as I always tell Bridger. Okay, so D, we just paid the D. And that sounded bad. <laughs> we just paid the $25. So we need to, we're going to use orange and we're just going to go through and we're going to go one, two, three, and four. So the orange is the new color. Orange is the new black. Don't you guys know orange is the new black? And then we've got garden. And if I'm not mistaken, we are starting over on this one. We sure are. So we're going to go ahead and what, how many did we have? Five, one, two, three, four, five. So we're just going to do something similar. Two, three, four, five. And I can tell you what, I'm going to start using some amazing markers that I got where I can do a little dot. I'm going to print new ones of these out and I'm going to use my dot markers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys right now because I'm super excited. I just came up with this idea. So for the first time, so we've got a G, right? I know I divert. I'm sorry guys. So we've got the G and we're just going to that stinks, right? But that's a G. So what we're going to do is the first time we go through, we are going to whichever, you know, wherever we decide to put it, we're going to put one dot for the first time. And then we're going to be able to use the same paper for a long time. I love the idea of laminating them, you guys, but I hate cleaning off laminate. And so in these little ones right here, I would imagine I could probably use it six times. And I think that's pretty dang good to use it six times. All right, so there are those bucks. And since we got the red binder out, let's go ahead and start off with it, shall we? We have got Year of the Dragon. This is for my emergency fund. And we need a lots of money going into our emergency fund. Let me let me reset us here. Reset. So let's go ahead and scratch one of these. And we've got $13. Holy cow. What is up with these scratchers today? Lots of big amounts. 10, 11, 12, and 13 going into Year of the Dragon. And then we're going to go ahead and do Weekend Getaway. This is for the Emergency Fund as well. And we've got seven. Well, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. And of course, originally this was for vacation, but priorities have changed. So five, six, and seven. Perfect. And then let's see. What do we have next? Oh, that's right. Debt. And we've got this one from Wren. So we're going to go ahead and scratch one. That's $2. We're going to go ahead and scratch another one. That's $7. That's $9. 
and 12 buckaroos, you guys. That means we get to make an extra debt payment today. I have no idea how much this Sydney challenge is. So let's take a look and see what we're going to be doing for an extra debt payment today. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So a $75 challenge that is going to debt. And that is from my friend, Ren. So amazing. I'm going to go ahead and pull this uh, envelope out and then I'll be right back. All right, next we're going to go ahead and do my friend Liz's challenge. The She said she could, so she did. And this is going to debt as well. And we're going to go ahead and do a, a $9 piece of sushi. And sushi is one of my favorites. I don't know if you guys are sushi fans, but I love sushi. All right, and actually, we're going to go ahead and take one out, put a 10 in there. This is $100, and this is going to be going to debt. You guys know that is our main priority, debt and emergency savings. You'll see a couple other challenges, but not much else. All right, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and grab our big binder and do our big savings challenges and do our big savings challenge books. We'll go ahead and start out with Miss Georgette. And we finished off the coloring side of Miss Georgette. We're gonna go ahead and scratch one of her. And so what do we have here? We have four buckaroos. That leaves us three. You know, let's scratch one more. I know I'm gonna regret this, you guys, but let's scratch one more. Four and eight is 12. That wasn't too bad. And I always say this in my videos, you guys, but I really don't remember what the numbers are or where they are, even though it's my own challenge. So 10, 11, and 12. And then let me grab the binder where she is in. And so Miss Georgette is right here. So $12 going towards that. We only have two of her left. I'm so excited. We're going to get that one done. Uh, before February and then we'll actually start on March because I want to stay ahead of this book because it is a big book and I definitely want to um, stay within the month and then next we're going to go ahead and do our poppet we're only going to scratch one of our poppets and this is not monthly this is do it whenever you want and so we're going to scratch one this is one to nine so it could be a big one we're going to finish this row what do we got we got the nine and again this is my book right here, but I still don't know where all the numbers are. So $9 there. So let's see if we've got a one, which I'm sure we do. We sure do. So let's grab that. And actually, we're going to grab this 20 because we put the two fives in there. And so $22 in our poppet so far. Perfect. And then, you guys, we have our newest savings challenge book. We have our Life's a Beach book. I'm super excited about this book. It was a lot of fun to create it. And it was inspired by our life being a beach. <laughs> and it was also inspired by our Australia trip being canceled. Honestly, you guys, that's what inspired this book. And so for me, um, it is just a way to save some money to get the debt paid off so we can make it to Australia. And for this one, we are just doing a roll and save. And so we don't want this big dice. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Let's see how many times we're going to roll. We, we're just going to roll once. Okay. And we're going to save three buckaroos. So $3 going into that roll and save. And you guys, this is available on my Etsy now. You can get it laminated or unlaminated for my laminated book. Just so you guys know, the only thing that's laminated is the cover. The laminated book does come punched and it does come with the discs. I don't put the discs in because I don't want them to get broken and shipping. So you do have to put them in yourself, but they're super, super easy. And now my arch nemesis roll four shut the box now i don't know which color i'm using because i messed up the last time so shut the box let's go ahead and get started we need two dice so we're going to use these two dice right here we're going to get started whatever i roll is green so a nine buckaroos nine dollars i don't have to pay and if we shut the box 25 bucks three dollars and i would be okay with that you guys because it's been a long time and i can't see that one five dollars or five I guess it's not dollars but it is for me Ooh, snake eyes okay no more snake eyes no more snake eyes oh that one didn't go through but we're gonna keep it uh because it's not like I am cheating and setting them where I want that's nine dollars so four five no four six and seven and of course I rolled a five it's because I said it you guys so we owe seventeen dollars to shut the box and look at I have I matched the color the last time oh well 
So $17, so 10, 15, 16, and 17. And actually I should probably grab a 20. Let me see what's here in shut the box and then we can determine that. So shut the box and oh, no, we can't grab a 20 because we don't have, we don't have the change. So, well, we'll go ahead and grab a 20 for these two tens. So there we go. And shut the box is going to debt as well. I know that shocks you guys. Shockeroo. And there's a 50 in there, you guys. How awesome is that? It's because of this row right here. Ugh, that row, I tell you what. And then we have fill your heart. This is another one of my challenges right here. We are going to roll the die um, to go ahead and fill this in down here. But we're going to roll the dice to see how many times we're going to roll. So we're going to roll four times. So we have got a six. Woo. Six. That's how many times we're rolling. But we're going to count that one as the first one. Plus a six. Uh-oh. Six, 12. Plus a two. 14. Plus five is 19. Plus four is 23. And one more. Plus four is 27. We only have four left on that. And I'm okay with that, you guys, because I want to get this money to debt. So what did we say? We had 12 plus eight is 20, 27. So 20. Five, six, and seven. And this is another one of my printables, you guys, that you can do. And how easy is that? No dice needed, no scratch offs. I know a lot of people are afraid of the scratch offs. And the good thing with this is truly, you roll the dice once, you're paying at most six bucks. All right. And next, we're going to go ahead and do our lucky dice drop. So, a lucky dice drop. Let's see where we're at for that. All right. So, the way that I do lucky dice drop is we roll one die and I like to keep something to show where I'm at. We're gonna roll this die so we go four and we do a two and we do a one and a six and a five and where are we gonna end up you guys? And a two. So five buckaroos today for lucky dice drop. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into the lucky dice drop envelope. I love this one. There are different amounts. You guys, I do have a different um, version that you get with the printable where you can set your own amounts. So if you think that's too high for your budget, we're going to skip 2024 and 2024 today just because we are running low on funds. And so let's see, what do we have here? We've got 10, 20, 25, 30, 1, and 2. 32, but let's go ahead and change out some of those big bills for some smaller bills because we're going to need them. So we're going to go ahead and take this $20 and grab 20 ones. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All righty, so now we've got more ones to play with, which is good when you're using a randomizer. And of course, when I say I'm using a randomizer, for me, the randomizer is just the dice. And so this is our February budget. And let's see if we can finish any of these challenges out for our debt. So we're going to go ahead and use our D10, which is this dice right here. And so it has 10 sides on it. One side says zero. For me, that is number 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So nine, we're going to go all the way back <laughs> and we're going to go to bookworm. We're only going to stuff bookworm once you guys, this is for me for books. And so I think the cheapest one we have is $10. It sure is. So we're going to do $10 and then we are, if we roll a nine, it's going to be my choice my choice if I roll a nine again, because I'm not going to put any more money towards books. I need to pay my debt off. And I love that this challenge is being utilized and uh, the money keeps going to it. But again, my main goal is debt payoff. All right. So what did we get? Oh, I couldn't see it. I have to roll it again. I got to move it forward. All right. An eight. So we've got this scratch off right here. Let's go ahead and scratch this lonely one here. So six buckaroos. I don't know how far we're going to make it on the money we got left, but we'll do whatever we can. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And those are opposite directions. We can't have that. <laughs> and then we've got a four. Let's go on back here. So one, two, three, and four. And this is Cupid. So that's two bucks. Where is my red marker? If you guys could see my desk. It is a disaster. So $2. It's kind of like, you know, when you watch people on 
um, influencers and stuff like that. Their house is perfect. I bet you all that's perfect is what they're showing you. <laughs> and then we've got a two. So one and two. Let's go ahead and scratch one of this little one for the cow. So two bucks there. So one and two. And let's see what we've got. And a 10 all the way to the back. We haven't done this one for a while. This is for my CD. And if we get another 10, we're not scratching another one. So this is a $70 challenge. And I'm kind of scared because we got a lot of little numbers. Ooh, three. Thank you, Ren. So three bucks going towards my next CD. So one, two, and three. All righty. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, next one. So three, go on back to three, one, two, and three. So this is a roll and save. So we don't roll and save with that big one. We roll and save with this one. So three buckaroos going into the coffee, $3. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to press our luck, you guys. Can I do a th write a three upside down? I don't think I can. <laughs> I would try, but I don't think I can. So let's press our luck. Let's no whammies, you guys, no whammies. So a 10 that we're not going to do that one again. So it is my choice, you guys, because we already did the 10 once and the nine once. So let's see this one right here. Let's see how much do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So less than a six, less than a six, a five. Heck yeah five buckaroos and I just made a mess all over my desk instead of using my vacuum. Okay. So $5 is going in here. We have $1 left. So we're going to be able to uh, make some debt payments today. You guys, we're going to go ahead and show you the debt update because I haven't shown you in a while. Now this is a 50 plus, And if I remember correctly, I think I past the double or skip, but let's see. 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 47. Did I mess up somewhere? 15 plus 11 is 26 plus 10 is 36, 37, 38. There should be $50 in here. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need three more dollars. We're going to leave that dollar there. We're just going to grab three extra dollars because we're not doing any of this IOU or anything like that. So $50. And this is going to be for the rainbows. I have to write myself a note. So we're just going to call that rainbows. And so $50. And I am keeping track of what challenges um, I have the money and you'll see why um, in my debt tracker. So this one does have a scratch off on the other side. So let's go ahead and undo this binder and go ahead and flip it over. And what is this one? This one is a $35 challenge. Perfect. And I like flipping it over so I don't have to do it on the backside. I know it puts them upside down, but okay. Then we have $1 left you guys. And our $1 goes into this right here. This is my get out of jail free card for not having an IOU. And so we're going to go ahead and color in one of these. And when this fills up, if it fills up before we're all done with the book, and then I will actually clean this one off and do it again because I do like that. All right. So we're not going to do this binder together either. Um, but you guys, I am going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be paying for debt. So let's move that aside. Let's grab the big binder and let's go to our debt. Um, snowball debt tracker right now we are working on our discover goal number two our mini goal number two and you guys i have broken my debt up into mini goals and you guys our debt has changed um we added some debt um i don't want to talk about it <laughs> we added some debt and so uh, the way that we're paying this off is our number one priority was home De depot mini goal number one number two then discover then home depot mini goal number three number four we're on mini goal number two right now. We need $225 to reach that. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. So for rainbows, what did we say? $50, 20, 30, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. So rainbows is going to get 50. Ooh, where's my purple marker? I don't know where my purple marker is. Oh, there it is. I found it. I almost did black. All right. So rainbows... minus 15. You guys aren't seeing this the day that I am doing it, obviously. And then we have got Sydney 
And Sydney, I think, was 75, right, you guys? Let's see. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 215 minus 75. Let me grab Linda so that we can add this up. So, you guys, I don't think I've shown you this since the 3rd. On the 14th, we were able to make several payments, and it took us down to $5,715. Now, let's go ahead and add this. So, 5715 minus 50. So, 5665 minus 75. So, 5590. And that also means that it's $125 off of our mini goal. And we're just going to go ahead and bring this on up here. And the new total, you guys, is $100.71. So we are almost done with our mini goal for Home Depot. And the mini goal number two, that was our fridge that we bought for the pantry that was unexpected. And the other ones, all of this is sitting at no interest, but 100 bucks left, you guys. Then we'll be able to switch over and start paying on this Discover debt. And I will probably, when I start paying on that, I'll probably um, break it down for you guys and tell you what my goals are for that. But that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.